Good morning, low carb people. How are you? I want to show you how the strawberry jam came out. I won it. I found a recipe that was not low carb and made it low carb because that's what I do. So it is 11.05 a.m. Eastern Time, May 24th, Sunday. So we'll give it a few seconds till some of you guys catch on. And I want to show you what I made. It did come out very good. I'm excited. And I want to show you a few other things, okay? So let's give it a second. It is Sunday, May 24th. Still quarantine. November. Uh, November. It's 11. That's why I said November. It's 11.06 a.m. Eastern Time. Not too bad. It's nice out. I think I'm going to go for my walk after I show you guys what I made. Let's give it a few seconds. I want to comment. We don't continue without comments. I do see the bubbles and people checking in there. How's everybody doing? Huh? 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 Come on. Comment. Thank you, Valerie. How are you? I'm good. I went to Columbus this morning, produce market. It's a huge flea market here in Jersey. 99% of it is shut down because of the virus. But the produce and the fish market is open, so I love getting my veggies and my fruits there. See, I already roasted some green beans. Yummy, oven roasted green beans. I use olive oil, garlic, and Penzi spices, you know, Penzi seasoning. I use their um, Fox Point blend, my favorite. Hi, Kate, how are you? How you feeling? How you doing? Huh, huh, huh? How's it going? You know what I mean? Hi, Lola. I love that dog. We're going to do burgers on the grill later, and we're going to try these new bratwurts. Johnsonville, Johnsonville beer brats. Right? We're going to try them. Hi, Lola says wolf. So yeah, that's what we're doing later. I'm going to go for my walk after this. How's it going? I'm glad everyone's doing well. All right, I'm ready. 45 people. Here we go. So I found a non-low-carb recipe for strawberry jam, and I've had it in my favorites. I just never made it. So I picked up strawberries at the market today, the produce place, and I said, I'm going to try it. And it's in the Instapot, right? So I'm like, okay, and it was two pounds of strawberries, a cup of sweetener, the juice from one lemon, uh, water, and cornstarch. Now listen, this is where it comes in. You don't have to use cornstarch if you don't want to. Where do I get the seasoning? The Fox Point Pat online, Penzies.com. It's their special blend, Fox Point. Um, you don't have to use the cornstarch, right? Remember we went over this? Cornstarch has seven grams of carbs in one tablespoon, right? So what's the alternative for our low-carb people when we want a thickener? Xanthan gum, right? You know how many carbs are in one tablespoon of this? Seven. Seven carbs in your normal, cheaper, dollar store brand cornstarch, and seven carbs in the fancy $8 bag xanthan gum. You make your choice, okay? So I did use my cornstarch as a thickener. And let it simmer a little bit, now it's cooling. So hi, Nicole, how are you? Hi, hi. It's still hot. It's still cooling. I only have two of these little jars, so the rest of it is in this bowl here. And you don't need no fancy, um, what is that, canning stuff, pectin or whatever, because I'm not canning it. This should last a good three to four weeks in the fridge. Should be perfect. And it came out very good. I wonder if you can see if it's thickened enough yet. See? Oh, look at that jam. Mm. It really did come out good, guys. And fresh strawberries. My mouth's watering after tasting it. Oh, it was so easy. So good. See? Strawberry jam. I can't, I might make low carb bagels. I might do the fat head bagels. Yes, you can do it, Pamela. Easy. Strawberries, juice from one lemon, a cup of sweetener. I use Splenda. Put it in your Instapot. Let it go. Then you, then you add the lemon. Then you let it simmer for about seven minutes to thicken a little bit. You mix your cornstarch and water, dump it in there, and let it cool. Bam! And like I said, regular cornstarch. Nita, I love you. How are you? Everyone say hi to Nita. I use Splenda, Brittany. Um, seven grams of carbs in one tablespoon, right? That fancy xanthan gum you guys want to spend a lot of money on for the thickener? Seven carbs. See, I ain't lying. Seven carbs in one tablespoon, seven carbs in one tablespoon. So on these rare occasions when you make something like jam or jelly or when you want to thicken a sauce and use the freaking cornstarch, but just save your money, people. Okay? And I already showed my roasted green beans I did today. I'm on a roasting kick. Roasted green beans. And then over here, that's cooling. Let me show you. Hi, guys. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, Jesse. How are you, Jessica? Jessica. 
I have some peppers and onions and zucchini that I just roasted that's cooling. So I don't know why it's like this lately. I gotta clean the lens or something. Something's wrong. I don't know. I don't know. We're just winging it. So I did want to show you how well that jam came out. It really did. I'm glad I tried it. Um, see the jam? It's cooling. I'm gonna leave it on the counter. I'm gonna go for my walk. I'm gonna get a good one. And I just, you know, when you're like kind of pissy, you don't know why. I'm just gonna go walk it out. <laughs> Hello. I know the xanthan gum is is a waste. I agree. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Pat. Hi, Valerie. Miss Swallow and Lola. Lola, Valerie, hello. So I did want to show you that. I'll type it up and I'll put it in the comments. Um, like I said, we're going to do burgers and dogs later. Try those beer brats. I'm going to have a bunch of my roasted veggies. I may make, I may make the fathead bagels for the jam tomorrow. We'll see. I don't know. And I'll see what we're doing later. Maybe I'll check in. Um, no, I didn't post the recipe yet, Pat. I try it and wing it, and if it works, then I'll do it. So give me 24 hours. It'll be in the comments here as well as in the files. And this one is going to go in my third book. So um, that, that came out very well. What's up, Nikki? You're late. Arrowroot flour. Um, sure, Janice. I guess you can use it. I never have. I know other people have used it, so it's definitely worth a shot. I mean, whatever low-carb thickener agent that works for you should absolutely work. Absolutely. So, all right, I'll check in again later. I love you guys. Stay safe, stay positive, enjoy the weather, and uh, I'll check in later. I'll see what else I come up with, okay? I love you. Thanks for the support. Bye.